Anyway, uh, uh, the big story by far in the world. The world? <laughs> Did I just say that? Justin Bieber well, arrested in Miami Beach, yellow Lamborghini, driving twice the speed limit, expired yeah. license, apparently a bit drunk. What? Drag racing. Yeah, so he's going 60 miles an hour in a 30 mile an hour zone. It's a residential Smoky area. Smoking Mariana! This is the same uh, crap he was pulling in Calabasas some months ago. And for some reason, he's never actually prosecuted, uh, probably because he's Justin Bieber. If he was Kelly Thomas, he would have been beaten to death. We can deport him! He's Canadian! Yeah, you know, I saw that. I didn't know he was Canadian. An I mean, immigration attorney I, says, though, neither driving under the influence nor driving without a license can make you eligible for deportation. I, I know next to nothing about him. Like, I don't know a single song of his, and I don't care. And, you know, he's one of these guys that is really big among, you know, like 13-year-old girls and nobody else. You know, he's only been around or big like five years. It seems like longer. It yeah. seems like a lifetime. I know. When he was 15, he broke through. He's yeah. going to be 20 in and a this couple is, of months. This is uh, pubescent, prepubescent girls suffering hormone surges. And, uh, you know, Justin Bieber causes their chemicals to go awry. But if you're not a teenage girl... Or uh, like maybe a twelve or eleven year old, then you don't care because the music's horrible. Uh, he's a goof. He's a dangerous goof. He's a drug addict. He's an alcoholic. You know, he's a jerk. He's a, a, a flaming a hole. So all the men in the world and any girl over the age of probably sixteen thinks he's an idiot and doesn't listen to his music. Uh, so what he, what he is for the rest of us is just entertainment. Gee, is he actually going to drive his stupid race car into a wall and end up a fireball? <laughs> I mean, that's that's about that the a only Paul Walker reference there. Huh? No, I should, no, it's it's not. But it's just where Jeffries is going. But isn't it interesting Bieber. though that it's so recent the memory of Paul Walker's death right he died yeah. street when they were going too fast and yet this idiot I mean in the same well, kind of celebrity bubble decides to do street racing well, when he's he was drunk and high 60 in a 30 zone but he wasn't doing a hundred yeah, but you know what the thing is he is an idiot he's not a bright kid he just has a certain look and the producers have come up with a sound and it works, you know, for the hormones in, in, in and a teenage I think girl. he likes this. I think he likes being and, a bit of an outlaw. And he I mean, he started off with this really clean-cut teenage boy image. He sang for those, Obama those, and his family at Christmas. Those are always fake, those images. Of course, well, clearly they like are. Like Leo Miley way. Cyrus and all the rest of them. All these, all he could these, be rebelling uh, against all that, too. Could you I imagine? Mean, when you're only 19, you're still messed up. Your brain isn't matured. Yeah, could you imagine being a teenager and t saying a cop, what the F do you want? Yeah, apparently, according to the well, police report, he used the F word repeatedly. Why did you stop me? He said. They said he had bloodshot eyes. Why the bleep are you doing this? Well, how? First of all, he's drunk. No, Your Honor, but thank you. For and he's so on. resisting he's, arrest was added on to. He's this. smoking pot and he's taking this uh, scissor that we were talking about the other day. This prescription cough medicine mixture. So he's he's got all these uh, foreign elements in his brain, and a 19-year-old male brain is all screwed up to begin with. So, yeah, you kind of called and, this, which is a little bit troubling. What? You kind of, no, the other day, you said something. Wasn't that just Monday? Yeah. You said, you know, I wonder how long it's going to be till he gets arrested or something like that. No, he's never been arrested. Yeah. Well, for all the nonsense only, that's gone on. Only because the police kept giving him a break. That's why. What, the egg throwing? <laughs> the egg throwing. Yeah, the egg throwing. The speeding. The spitting? The spitting in the neighbor's face. Again, look what Kelly Thomas did compared to what Bieber's done in the last year. Bieber walks away every time, and the police go, oh, I really have no evidence to prosecute here. Uh, and Kelly Thomas is, what, sitting on the curb, and he's dead. So, yeah, his celebrity protected him. The same way, of, like, uh, OJ's celebrity protected him. Well, but that was spousal abuse. Far worse. He was beating the crap out of uh, the woman he killed, Nicole. Sure, sure, but nothing ever happened to him. This is just punk behavior, just a kid that... Uh you know what? He had can, too much too soon and thinks it's cool to be a bit of a nutty outlaw. I think he thinks it's really cool. Oh, of course well, he does. I mean, look at that smiling face in the mugshot. Yeah. Which, which makes it more obnoxious, you know, that, that, he, that he's actually thriving yeah. on this in some way. It's just, it's just a, a moron. And I guess, you know, what, you know what's weird? Is that, is, is that the way it, he's covered? And I suppose any pop star would be covered this way. I mean, it's really no different than the Michael Jackson, you know, stuff. Uh, or, or the way the Beatles were covered. I mean, every generation has this, and, and they get over-covered. But really, his audience base really is about teenage girls, and that's it. 
I mean, and yeah, there's, well, that's there's, lucrative. There's no, it's lucrative. It's making buy crap. But but what I'm saying is, the the, the, the public. Has no emotional investment in him except as you know some kind of some he's kind a car of, accident. Yeah, it's a pinata. Literally to watch him as a car accident. Yeah, it's like a, Lindsay Lohan. It actually appeals. I'm not sure who what her fan base was, but clearly we were watching her for a while. Well, I think, you know that that's pretty much a, a teenage girl thing too. Back when she was uh, popular, she was in uh, teenage girl movies. Movies, yeah, yeah, that, that's what it and is. And then Britney Spears before that, same, was having her same, breakdowns. same thing. Right. All right. I got three sons. They're not buying Justin Bieber records. They're not uh, listening to Britney Spears' greatest hits. They, you know, they don't care about Miley Cyrus. It, it, it really is a teenage girl thing. No, it's also the flip side of People magazine. People magazine likes to put the celebrities on the cover and talk about their beautiful lives and you know how much money they make. And then the other part of people reading this stuff is I'd really like to see them fail. I'd like to see them flop on their face. I'd like to see them go down. That well, is part of what American culture is about. But they well, like a comeback Building people as well. up and then watching them go... Pfft. Well, they like a comeback. I think there's a resentment, too, when, when you look at somebody... No, they don't like a comeback. Yeah, they do. Like who? Like Britney Spears. People were thrilled she, to she see is, her She's grow stuck her in hair Vegas now singing. She's not really come back. Well, she's not dead. Uh, so that's a comeback. But also, I think there's resentment when it seems like somebody's undeserved. Sure. You know, there, there's like real music talent, and their their songs last a long time. And then there's people like him, and it's like three or four years. And then you watch him act like a jerk. And you know what? Driving driving your car sixty or eighty miles an hour in residential neighborhoods, that's that's really foul. That's aggressively obnoxious, and he he could easily kill somebody. And the other so, thing is, you know, though, so you end up celebrities people. always did this, always. But now we have so much social media watching them. And they're waiting for it. So, clearly with TMZ out there, can't get away with anything. This might have been a quiet story 30 years ago. Who would really know? I really want to go back to the days of not knowing. I mean, yeah, ignorance no. is bliss <laughs> no. when it comes to celebrities' lives and athletes I mean, and their tweeting. It's like, I don't no, want to know no. any of that stuff. I mean, you yeah, don't be either. amazed at what baseball players and football players did you know, back in the 1950s I, and I know, 60s, but it wasn't publicized. Cheating on their wives. I, I don't, I, but you know, there's no reason to know this. Yeah. And it, other than you're waiting for the moment where he hits the wall, it's not that interesting. Sometimes knowledge isn't power. It's annoying. No, it, there's a lot of irritating stuff in the air, and it's really hard to filter out even if you're trying to this stuff is crap he's just a stupid pop star and his music isn't very good all right coming up later and on you know what five years from now even his fans aren't going to care about him another woman